Hello everybody, my name is Naveen Desai. I work for uh, the Maximo IoT Level 2 support team uh, based in London, United Kingdom. So today I'm going to show you um, how to create a work order in service provider with a fixed price code. So let us just review uh, the basics about uh, what Maximo Service Provider does. So IBM's Maximo for Service Provider delivers a suite of applications that manage customer agreements, service delivery, customer billing, and supply contracts. It also fully supports service as a business. Maximo Service Provider meets the needs of clients who manage assets and services for customers as a business or clients who manage assets and services within an enterprise and builds internally to those services. There are a host of service provider specific applications when you install Maximo Service Provider Solution. In addition to these applications, core Maximo applications also have additional functionality incorporated to enable certain service provider related operations. So as I mentioned earlier today, I'm gonna to show you one such example creating a fixed price work order in Maximo Service Provider. This video will show you the basic steps in order to create a work order with a fixed price code. So let us start by going to work order tracking service provider application. You go create a new work order. Work order number is 1215, and I'm just going to name it as a fixed price work order. Um, yeah, in, in depending on the user's security settings and business requirements, either location or asset might be a mandatory tab, or you might need to populate GL account information. But in this case, nothing is mandatory, so we'll leave that. Uh, this customer's field is specific to service provider. So we go to select value and we select an existing customer, which is managed through the customer application uh, in service provider. So now we have a customer for our work order. We save the record. And in order for us to enable a price code for this work order, we need to select a price schedule. So you go to more actions and there is a select deselect price schedule. This is currently empty so we will click on new row and there are a set of agreements which have been created. So let's just choose this agreement with a price schedule called PS01. I'll come back to you regarding how you set these things up. So we click on that, we click OK, the record has been saved. And now to give up, to enable the option of a fixed price quote for a work order, we need to go to the view update price quote dialog box. So you click on that, it opens up. And here you notice that the quote type and the quoted price fields are read only. So this is where you actually enter a fixed price work order, a work order of type fixed price and you quote a price, a limit. Uh, so in this case, we are not able to do a fixed price work order because these options are disabled. Now these options, the controls are controlled or are gov governed by the price schedule that you have selected. So let's go and see what this price schedule has been set up as. So this, the agreement was DCH001, and there was a price schedule tab, which has this price schedule called PS1. And if you go below, scroll down below, there is a price schedule subsection. And here, the option that will enable a fixed price quote for a work order is this option, allow price quotes. And if you notice, this is unchecked. So this agreement won't work for our work order if you want it to be a fixed price work order. So let us return back 
and what I will do now is I will show you how to create a customer agreement with a price schedule uh, of quotable pricing. So we go back to select the select price schedule, we delete this row, so there's nothing tied to this work order. We will just copy this work order so we can come back to it after we create our agreement. And now we go to a service provider specific application called customer agreements where all the agreements for a specific customers are managed. So it's called agreement seven. You can name it anything you want. We will tie it up with our customer called C1, you return with value. So now you, have, now you have a customer called C1. You have created a new agreement. It's in status of draft. Now we go to price schedules tab, create a new row, a test two agreement. And here you mention which object does it apply to, and we will give it this work order. Scroll down to the price schedule subsection, and here you'll notice, just enter ranking one, and here you'll notice different kind of setting, billing rules, PO requirements, bill approved work. But for our purpose, for the purpose of this video, we will need to check only this, the allow price quotes checkbox, and then save the work order change the status to approved. So now what I've shown you is we have created a new customer agreement called number seven against a customer called C1. And the price schedule has one entry, one price schedule called test two, which has a price schedule uh, in the price schedule section, we have allowed uh, price quotes to be specified. So we go back to the work order tracking service provider application, pull up our work order, it's tied to customer C1. So we now go to more actions, select deselect price schedule, click a new row, and there you have it. We have the new agreement number seven and we have the price schedule test two. So we select that one because we know that test two price schedule allows us to uh, quote a fixed price work order. So we click OK. And now let's see what happens when we click on the view update price quote tab. Here you see now that you have a quote type and quoted price fields enabled. So now you can go and select a value, select a fixed price and specify a fixed price. And that is how you create a work order in service provider with a fixed price quote. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I would be grateful if you could uh, provide your feedback or comments or suggestions at the end of this video. Thank you very much.